The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. I'm here with Canola Council Agronomist Ian Epp. We're going to talk a little bit about emergence today. Uh, Ian, one of the things that you get asked about a lot is about seeding rates. And we were just talking about that and you were, you were referencing how important it is to know about emergence if you're going to start making decisions around seeding rates and, and uh, uh, canola varieties. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so seeding rates is always a hot topic. Seed, seed costs represent a significant part of costs, uh, input costs in growing canola. That being said, having the right amount of seeds in the ground is the most essential thing you can do. It's hard to compensate for a lack of canola plants that really can limit your yield potential. So getting the right amount of plants in the ground in the right area is key to having a successful canola crop. So we do have lots of questions on, can I change my seeding rate? I want to lower my seeding rate or I bought a different drill. How does that affect my seeding rate? Um, different conditions. We seed into wet conditions. We seed into dry conditions, uh, insects, the amount of risk. These all, all factor into having an uh, establishing a competitive canola crop which is what we need to have that nice yield target we have in mind for fall so the first thing the easiest thing we can do before we change our recommendations is finding out in in our fields on our farm what is our yield rate or what is our plants how many plants do we have per square foot do we have eight plants ten plants we can target different ones and our seeding rate changes we can have big seed small seed so once we've allowed for that we, we uh, figure out how, how what size our seed was so our thousand seed weight we figure out um, how many plants per square foot, so our seeding rate from that. And then we throw the hoop and we find out how many plants we actually have in the field. So in Western Canada, we average 50 to 60% emergence. So for every two plants we're, we're put, or seeds we're putting in the ground, we're getting one plant out of that. So some fields are better, some drills might be better, some conditions are better. But the key thing on your individual farm is knowing what your emergence is to start with. Once we know that on average you're getting 50% on your farm, we can adjust seeding rates accordingly. It might be the easiest thing that we can maybe lower your seeding rate a little bit. But if you have poor emergence and you don't have enough plants, the best thing you might be able to do for your farm and for your yield potential is maybe actually upping your seeding rate to have a competitive stand. Is this a good time to evaluate a drill and also try to figure out whether or not it's, uh, you're getting good separation from the fertilizer? Because fertilizer can damage seedlings as well. Yeah, absolutely. We've had a reasonably dry spring right around seeding time. So fertilizer burn can be an issue. Now is a great time. We're having emergence. So do we have even emergence? Are we happy with the amount of plants where, that are emerging? Now is a great time to look. You can count your plants as far as making future recommendations all the way up to harvest. Even in the after swathing, counting stubble is good. But as far as making decisions for this year, now is a great time. Our canola crop here is one to two leaf. That's a nice time. The plants are easy to see. They've pretty much all emerged. We can start counting and seeing what our emergence actually was. So I've thrown my hoop and now you're gonna count the plants in the hoop to get an idea of how many plants per square foot we actually have here. So the key thing, um, it doesn't have to be a fancy hoop. You have to know how big your hoop is. My hoop happens to be a quarter of a meter squared. Um, so you throw your hoop. We're going to count all the plants in, in our hoop here. Um, keeping in mind, we're not going to be counting plants that are in between the rows that are likely volunteers. So we're trying to disclude if there are volunteer canola, we're going to try to not count them in our count. So we count how many plants we are here. I always throw my hoop. I try to throw it at least a few feet away from me so I don't get biased to picking a, a spot with no pl less plants or more plants. So trying to get a really random sample of what this field has in it. So in this hoop, I have 25 plants per square foot. Uh, if I do my math, um, I'm ending up with about eight plants per square foot here. So eight plants per square foot, this is a really good sample. This is probably a few more plants that I'm expecting to see on average. But again, in order to get a good idea of what you have in your entire field, you want to throw your hoop quite a few times. Some, hoop, some spots are going to have a few more plants, some are having a few less, and hopefully you average out and then you can figure out what your average uh, plants per square foot is across the field.